it's Terry here with my three appliances and I'm in my Hobbit kitchen and I just got back from Sprouts grocery store and my plan is to prep a couple of the vegetables before I put them in the small fridge so they're ready when I'm ready to make the recipe so first I want I have some leeks and I have four leeks here and of course they came with all of their stuff that I throw out. I used my kitchen scissors to cut them off. Rinsed them as best I could, but I know sometimes there's some dirt in here. So after I slice them in my new appliance, then I'll rinse them again. And then bag them and they're ready to use in a recipe. I don't know if you've tried leeks, but they're my absolute favorite in soups and stews and all kinds of dishes. A lovely flavor. So, my appliance is new and my sweetheart of a husband, engineer, purchased it for my birthday this month and I got it last week and I don't know anything about it so I'm going to learn with you and it is called a Breville, B-R-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And you can see how big it is. And you can see I have this much counter space over here. I like to put it near the sink. So um, anyway, here we go. Uh, let's see. I need for the machine, I need the spindle. I read a little bit, I know I need the spindle. And this is the slicing, uh, you, you can slice all different, you can um, use the measurement and slice all different sizes. So I'm gonna use the smallest two millimeters. I'm gonna put it on there. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. And then I'm gonna put this lid on. This is a really neat, substantial lid. It takes me two hands to do it and it has presser downer thing, pusher thing, and in there it has a smaller one, so smaller and even micro small with the little measuring thing there. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. Everything's been washed. I've been having some arthritis in my hands and so that's why my husband has bought these appliances. And so I'm gonna learn. Okay. So really cool plug. Great. With a hole in it to pull it out of the wall. I don't know if you can see it. And so when you push it in then to pull it out, you've got that hole to pull it out. Really cool. All right, here we go. I'll take those two out. I guess you can put two in. No, maybe not. No, maybe not. All right, let me try that. Wow, okay, it's fast. <laughs> Beautiful, so let me try again. Thanks. Let me use this pusher thing. And now I'm using this. Go. Oh, I hit the power instead of the. Okay. Man, you gotta get used to all these things. All right. Oh. this 
in half because it's a bit fat for the shoot. So when I do that, see, this is that little dirt I'm talking. I was telling you about a little bit of dirt. So that's why I'm going to rinse them after I cut off. A lot easier than my arthritis hands cutting it. Okay, let me see what we have. I'm going to turn the power off just to be safe because it looks like this mega machine. And be careful because the blades are sharp. I got one left in there, which, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. There we go. Lots of leaks. I'm happy about that. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to just um, put that in a bowl so that I can rinse it later. And I'm going to take a nice little spatula that came with it so I don't waste any of this good stuff. What I like about leeks is they're not a really as strong smelling as um, regular onions. They just give such a delicate flavor. I make this butternut squash stuffing and it's done with four leeks. And that was what, that was like four or five leeks, I don't know, four or five. And when I um, get them home from the grocery store, and for these I shop at Sprouts because I really like, they've got a lot of organic and try to eat as much organic as we can and as many fruits and vegetables as we can. Okay, so I'll give that a little rinse. And my next trick is gonna be, I'm going to peel, um, I guess that's what you use. I'm gonna peel, let's see if it works some beets and so I I bought two kinds I bought the golden and I bought um, the red and all I did was cut them off and leave the stuff that I'm gonna bring to the garbage in these bags and then I kind of gave them a little scrub and now I'm going to use the Brayville appliance to peel them okay Now I'm going to put this next blade, which is called the peeler, Brayville peeler. It's just a plastic, cool looking thing. And it goes on that little spindle, I think. And on it goes. Okay. And then I guess you just put in your, I'm going to try the golden one. I guess you just put it in. It says to try 25 seconds and it's got a little timer so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to press the timer for 25 seconds and I'll just press start. you may have to cut the eyes out of it so that's not bad so um, I'm gonna get another bowl to put those in over here 
And we'll see how we do. I don't know if you have to clean it out in between or not. Ah. Let's just go for it. All right, timer, 25 seconds and start. It's stuck. I think it was too big. I think you have to cut that in half. Better get a nice big knife because those things are really hard, these beets. The beets are for a borscht recipe. I'm going to put two in. I think it will work. Okay. The golden beets, not very nice. Okay, I'm gonna try them that size. I don't, I don't know if they'll work or not, but I'm gonna try it. Twenty-five seconds. left a spot, must have been because it was oblong. So I think I'll just cut that little spot up later. Let them rinse. They have so much coloring in them, it comes off when you rinse it. All right, and it looks pretty full, and so I'm gonna I'm going to clean that out because I don't know if that interrupts um, yeah it's quite a bit so, just going to rinse those It still has weight. Okay, I'm gonna just dry the bottom because I don't want to get everything all wet. All right, and we're gonna put this back. I guess it's down. Yes, and in go these little guys. Try all three of them. Okay, here we go. Twenty-five seconds and start. These are the red ones. You get everywhere, so the gloves are good. see them. I'll go ahead and rinse them again. And oh. 
that's it. I've got all my beets um, peeled. And then um, they're going to actually be shredded for the borscht soup that I'm going to make. It's a friend's recipe. And um, they made it for my birthday. And it was so good. So cabbage and beets and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm going to end up shredding that with the machine. So let's see if I can do that right now. All right, so let me rinse this. They're such a hard vegetable to beat. So like I said, my name is Terry and um, I started this health journey about two years ago. Some health issues that were not good and Mayo Clinic helped as much as they could and then I decided after speaking with my older sister who was trying a cleanse which I didn't believe in cleanses and so she sent me the book that she was going to use and the reason I did the cleanse with her was because I thought, well, I have a health background and make sure she doesn't kill herself doing a 28-day cleanse. I thought, well, I'll just do it for a couple days and cheat because she's in a different country and we were just video chatting. She was so cute, she sent me the book and uh, I ended up doing the cleanse, the whole 28 days, and then incorporating the things that I had learned from that cleanse in my everyday life. And my husband decided, that was two years ago, and my husband decided 10 months ago when, 10, 11 months when COVID hit and he had to work his engineering job from home, he decided to go down this path with me. And now it's just part of our life. And so he had bought me the juicer that I needed to make celery juice because I had celery juice upon wakening every morning, about 16 ounces. And you just need a really good juicer if you're gonna do celery juice. So that was my first machine. And it's called a Curvings. And when I make celery juice, I'll do a video for that. And then my second appliance was a Vitamix, critical for um, the breakfast smoothies that you have 30 minutes after your celery juice and for soups and chocolate mousse and I mean, so many things. Okay, so I've rinsed this out a little bit more. Dry the bottom, I think. Handle. Okay. Now, oh, that's a little bit dirty on the bottom side. Rinse that. Okay. Let me take a paper towel and wipe this little counter space that I have. Ooh, that stuff. Okay, and the peeler I'm pretty much done with. Unless I get carrots out later. Anyway, that's good for now. And then let me rinse these things. I don't know how many of you have a really tiny kitchen, but I guess even a large kitchen after a while gets small when you're doing food projects. But with I kind of have to prep, clean, prep, clean, prep, clean. And now that I'm retired, it's okay. Okay. All right, we're good. And I'm gonna get
get the slicer. I'm gonna try this attachment. It says it's for, let me get my glasses. It's to help disperse the vegetables in the bowl. So we get the spindle, the same spindle that was used here. There we go. And we put it on the spindle, I think. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. There's no way that's going to be square. So in goes that. I always get this wrong. Which way does it go? Um, that's big shredding. That's small shredding. I think we're small shredding. Okay. Now where does this go? This way up. That is not going to work. Okay, so that doesn't work with that. I'll have to figure out that thing. All right, shredding. Okay, here we go. And where's my little knife? There was a couple spots. A little eye in that. And there was a little bit of skin that we don't want. It wouldn't hurt us if we ate it, but there we go. If you don't like beets, don't worry, the soup, I never even tasted the beets in them, although I, I like beets actually. Always had them growing up in Canada. Mom would make them in the winter roast them with other roots it's a favorite of mine okay here we go I wonder I'm going to cut them in half because if they're shredding I think they might need to be cut in half them all so that they have a flat edge, not round rocks, just kind of what they look like, round rocks. All right, so in we go. We're going to shred them. Look at that because that's pretty tiny. Maybe it's too shredded. It's pretty, it's pretty little. Can you see it? I think I, well, I, I'm gonna. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Tiny one then. Oh boy, that's red. <laughs> okay, here we go.
very sharp and very fast. This much, not too bad at all. Little pieces. And I've got this beautiful stuff, and I'm gonna get a bag because I think that'd be the best way to store it. But I think that's it. I, I'm gonna do the rest, I'm gonna bag it. I'm gonna mix the colors because it's all gonna go in the borscht soup. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, um, my appliance, my new appliance is called a Braville. And I think you can see in the background that great big case, that's all the stuff it comes with. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun learning to use it. Thank you, bye.